Hello everyone, welcome back to PyLearning. In this video, we are going to talk about named range. In our previous video, we saw how we can use the VLOOKUP formula to look for a key in the range of our choice to return us the value by using an index, right? We also saw how we can use the range reference or the cell values of the range we are interested in to hard code it into our VLOOKUP, especially because we don't want our range to move. We do that by using the dollar sign. However, if you look at it, you will realize that it's not very readable. There could be possible errors also while referring to the particular cell values. So there is a better way to do this. How? By using a named range. So what we are going to do is we are going to select the range that we are interested in and then we are going to give it a name. So after that, we can directly use the name inside our formula here instead of using the range reference and the readability of the formula is going to increase a lot. Let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm interested in this range. Now I can go to data and then select name ranges. So basically here I have to give a name to this range that we have selected sheet one F1 to G5. I'm going to call it unit price. All right. Let's go ahead and click on done. Uh, specified name range is not valid. I think it doesn't allow space between uh, your uh, name. So right. So we cannot use a space between the names. So now here instead of hard coding this cell values, I can go ahead and directly type unit price. So now you, as you can see, this code looks more readable. I'm basically referring to this range by using the name of the range unit price and now if I press on this it is going to give us the correct result and now I can drag to the end and the formula is going to work for every row there. So this is the advantage of using a named range. It's more meaningful. A meaningful name range is more easier to remember than the cell values or range references. You know, it's a good habit. It will reduce errors from incorrect range references that you might provide while using the function. So a better way of using uh, the cell values is by giving a name to the range of the cell values that we are going to use in our function. I hope you like this tutorial on named range. I will see you in the next tutorial.